Hello, welcome to AutoBot YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn how you can add a cell color to uh, any Excel sheet using UI path. Okay. So for that I have created a uh, dumb Excel sheet. So there can be situations like uh, for here for an example I uh, created a sheet uh, which is having the server name as well as the status of the particular server. Okay. For an example. Uh, like suppose if you are doing some uh, switch over okay from primary uh, data center to uh, dr okay the, there what you have to do you have to switch off a few of the servers and you have to switch on the servers in the dr right if it is a switch over so at that time you'll have to track the status of the servers right or uh, maybe uh, for a uh, daily tracking uh, the support team will be doing the tracking of the status of the servers right suppose suppose if you have some 40 or 50 servers uh, one person will be going to uh, log into the ser uh, servers and they will be validating whether the server is up or not and maybe it can be some service also application service or it can be any of the services uh, we will be monitoring whether it is running or not right and we'll have to uh, send it as a document maybe like a pdf document or maybe we'll have to uh, pass it as a um, excel sheet as a tracker to maybe to the customer or maybe to the internal uh, management right for the tracking purpose so uh, for that what we'll use to do uh, we'll be highlighting the colors right so if this is the input which we are getting from any of the rpa process or it can be with any of the other programming languages if you're getting some data like this okay if you need to add some color based on the uh, status what you have to do uh, okay for example i created another sheet which is having the color okay so if you want to convert this data to this kind of data okay which is having the color based on the status how we can do that with ui path okay so that's what we are going to check today for that i already created a uh, project in ui path the, pro the project name is excel color demo and uh, here what i'm going to do is the initial step with the modern design is we have to use use excel file okay then i'm going to choose this particular workbook desktop automation demo um, excel color demo okay that's it and here uh, I selected this particular uh, sheet uh, excel file and I'm going to modify the color for this particular sheet one okay and before that what we have to do we need to read the value of this status column right if it is passed then I need to modify the color of this cell and if it is fail I need to modify the color of this particular uh, cell value right that's what we are going to do for that what we have to do we need a for loop so um, for each cell row we can use so for each uh, current row from uh, which sheet from excel i'm going to choose sheet one okay so i'm going to make the changes to the sheet one so i selected sheet one it has headers right it has the server name and status as a header so i selected has headers then what we have to do we need to add the color to the cell based on the condition right if it is passed then it has to uh, fill with a green color if it is fail means it, it should be uh, filled with a uh, red color and if it is suspended it should fill with orange right that's what we are going to do so that we have to use the if condition right okay i'm going to use else if condition and what should be the uh, condition so it's like a current row and status right status dot equals if it is passed then it has to fill with some color right so the same condition will apply for the failed as well else if if it is failed it need to fill with some color else it need to fill with the, the orange color right so how we can give the color to a cell for that what i'm going to do is 
we have one option called format cell okay so this is one activity under uh, our excel package so we can use this format cell to give color to the particular cells okay so let me copy this okay here it will ask for the range for that what i'm going to do is let me go to excel let me go to indicate in excel i'm going to choose this particular value okay then confirm okay so this is a format which we need to give for the cell value okay so currently it is choosing b2 okay so currently it is choosing the b2 value so if you want to loop through uh, different values you have to use it like a counter right so what i'm going to do is so b2 plus current index okay what is the current index of the uh, current row we need to get then dot to string okay so it will work like a counter and uh, based on the condition or based on the cell value it will give the color so how we can choose the color you have to go to set format and you need to go to fill then you need to choose the color value okay so we are going to give green for uh, passed and if you want to make some changes okay if you want to convert the data time like if you want to uh, if there is any date field or if there is uh, any requirement to convert that to a number you can use the particular data type okay then alignment you can choose based on your requirement and font type as well as font style size everything you can choose okay so uh, as of now i'm going to choose only the uh, cell color okay so that's it i'm going to copy the same activity paste it over here paste it over here as well and here uh, for the failure we have to choose the red color right so i'm going to choose uh, sorry not this one dark red okay and for else condition or for the uh, suspended case we have to choose orange okay so let me put it like a golden brown okay so that's fine so let's execute and see uh, how it is working okay okay so there is a uh, issue with the uh, index that's why it got appended here so what i'm going to do is uh, let me format it back okay let me add a look, look, look over here okay so that's it okay so what i'm going to do is let me add one more uh one value to the current index okay so currently it is starting from zero so instead of that i'm going to add plus one okay so now it should work fine okay so that's it let me run the script again okay so now you can see based on the condition it is filling the color okay so if it's passed it is filling red if it is sorry green and if it is a failed it is filling with the uh, red color and if it is suspended it is filling with the uh, orange color right so uh, this looks better right instead of uh, sharing it in a uh, transparent color we can give some colors to the status and we can share that to the customer so it will look more better and it will help to easily track where uh, the servers are failed or whether the server is a suspended state right so uh, you can use this format cell activity to give color to the cell and uh, you have to give the proper syntax for the cell value okay so i hope you are clear about this concept and how you can use these uh, uipath activities to modify your excel sheet with different colors okay and if you want to give some color to some particular range or to some particular sheet that is also possible 
Uh, so there you will have to choose the uh, cell value sorry sheet value so here you will have to choose the sheet value or you will have to choose the range okay you can go to excel and you can indicate uh, in excel okay so it will automatically capture the particular uh, range okay so here what we have uh, done is like we used use excel file to open the particular excel sheet then once we did that we used for each uh, uh, excel row activity to look through each row in the uh, excel and uh, we uh, we have uh, used an uh, else if condition to check whether the status is passed failed or suspended and inside that we use the format cell activity and we are setting the car to the uh, particular cell value okay then we provided this index if you are not sure about this syntax, just click here and go to Excel and indicate in Excel and then modify the syntax for this particular source value. Okay, so I hope you are clear about this concept and uh, you uh, understood like how where we can use this particular activities to uh, create a proper uh, report. Okay, so if you find this video useful, please like the video, please share with your friends uh, and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, please give your valuable uh, comments. Okay. So, thanks for watching the video. Bye.